gotta figure out where we're going. Oh, no, forward, they've got a scale. Uh, forward left or forward right? <laughs> What do you think we are way at total? I'll bet you uh, 195. Give me a number, Steve. Uh, um, 18.4. No, we're. I think you win. Giving Steve crap for his uh, jacket. He's got a manager's uh, high vis jacket. It might hook. It'll be all right one way or another. He's got a good touch. Oh, we need one of these, Steve. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we'll just uh, put it in the back of your truck, right? This is where we go, the claw, the claw!
whatever, just make a big pile out of it. Yeah, way, way too easy. Yeah. I like, uh, you know, like you said, can we buy that on the weekend? Yeah. All right. Well, at least a thousand pounds. Yeah, 1500 probably. Yeah. What do you think, Willow? You agree? For a green light, I think. Yeah, we got a green light. All right, now what do we do? Now go over to the little uh, gray and black shack, and I will go in and set up our camp. All right, where's the gray and black shack? To the right. Oh, that cashier. one, cashier. Hey, look at that. All right, no, I think I just park like right here. Yeah. Seems like a good spot. There you go. And now we are going around the dump, and we'll probably uh, spend the Forest Service monies getting rid of the rest of this thing. Here we go. And we got to be careful because we didn't really strap anything down. Yep. Not that I think it's going anywhere with all that heavy stuff. But still. But still. And we basically are just going up there, and there's a freeway overpass, hop over it. That's the nice thing a lot about uh, this metal place is uh, it's really close to the dump. Here we are, Short Mountain. What do you think, Willow? We're all clear, Steve. We got all of it. Uh oh, back up, there you go. All right, so what did we get weight-wise metal? Uh, metal was um, about a ton and a half. Ton and a half of metal. Yeah, okay. which was um, the frame and uh, the interior air conditioning and a couple pieces of aluminum. So we didn't do the copper because it takes a lot of extra time and it's not really worth it. Uh, but all in all, we, you know, uh, got a bunch of metal into the recycling and not in the landfill, which saves us, you know, uh, 120 bucks in dump fees, which is nice. Yes. Yeah. Um, that's the, I would say that's probably the biggest reason why we recycle the metal is so that we don't have to pay to dump it. Yeah. Rather than, because, I mean, what we get from dumping is, doesn't even cover our gas. Yeah. Our, uh, recycling doesn't even cover our gas. Yeah. Or, and especially if you added a ton. Yep. And, and then, the, the dump was about two thirds of a ton today. Okay. So I think total that brings us to about either two and a half or three tons of trash from this fifth wheel. That and includes the trash from the inside and then the fifth wheel itself. And that was and that's three runs. Yep. We we cleaned it out on one run with some help from Five Rivers Group. And then we took the sides and the top off in the second run. Um, and then we took the decking and the frame in the third one. So yep. it was a it was a nice, compact, easy to do run. And while this is going to be a fourth video, this is technically an extension of the third. Yes. Well, and we also uh, we haven't dumped the uh, contents of the super sucker when we cleaned the site. So there's a little bit more trash from that site, but all in all, it was uh, pretty reasonable. Gotcha. And so. And before we did all of this, you tested it for asbestos. asbestos. Yes. So there was about 175 bucks in asbestos tests, uh, which allowed us to have the lab report to take it to the dump and be able to dump the trash. Otherwise, it would have been required us to do a bunch of bagging and uh, ASN4 reports and get El Rapid involved, and it makes it more challenging. So basically, you can't just run out there and pick up an RV or grab one out of your backyard or anything because when you take it to Short Mountain, uh, the refuse station here in Lane County, you have to uh, have an asbestos report and basic 
assessment of hazards. Yeah, well, it, even the even the, the retail transfer stations require it now, so right. you can't even put it in your garbage. Yeah, so, I mean, you could try to hide it in there, which I would assume some people do, but... Yes, but the $2,000 DEQ fine is probably not worth it. No, 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 so... Uh, so now on to the next one. We've got a cleanup uh, coming up this next weekend. Yeah, um, MLK weekend on both Saturday and Monday, actual MLK day. Um, and we don't know where we're cleaning yet. We've got to go out and find the closest trash, but it's not like there isn't any. So we hope to see you on Friday and or Monday, or Saturday and or Monday. Let's see now, where do I turn here? I turn you here. turn here and then take a left. And I take a left. This is where I always get confused and I end up uh, halfway in Cresswell. And here comes a bunch of trucks. Cool. So, thank you everybody for watching. Have a great day. Pick up some trash. Enjoy the forest. But make it better than you did before the last time you saw it. Two bag policy, something like that. And oh, hey, here's one of our local tow yards. Oh, wow. I they, saw that one in town. They're uh, collecting RVs because they don't know what to do with them. And, uh, well, we found a solution. So, thank you again, everybody. Have a great day.